Hey y'all, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how I make my carrot cake. Homemade, okay? With easy ingredients you can find right at home, all right? So we about to go ahead and jump into this video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I will also link all the ingredients I'm using today in the description box. So make sure you read it, check it out, try this recipe, and let me know what you think. Any questions, make sure you put them down inside the comment section. All right, let's jump right into the video. First things first, you wanna go ahead and make sure you wash your carrots. Today I'll be using four to five carrots, and then I'm going to peel them as well. You do not wanna leave the skin on them when you start the carrot cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred these up and show you guys exactly what I'm doing, all right? All right, I'm using about four to five carrots. You want at least like three to four cups. See by these carrots being a little small, I'll probably add in one more, all right? All right, so when you start to peel, you wanna make sure you have a grocery bag to catch the skin, all right? So this is my carrot. And for those who don't know how to peel, I'ma just go through and show you how to peel it. All right, here go your peeler, right here. Grab it and just do like that. Go along the sides and peel the carrot. It's real simple, y'all, with a peeler. You can use a pair of knife to do this as well, but I like my peeler better, all right? Just kinda peel these carrots. So I'm gonna go through and peel all these carrots and I'm gonna come back when I have all my carrots peeled. That's how your carrot should look, just like that. That's a peeled carrot. All right, so off camera, I went on ahead and cut the head part of the stem off. We do not need that up there, okay? So we're about to go ahead and grate these carrots up. I have my cutting board already here in front of me, and I'm gonna take the small side and start grating these carrots up. All right, using my shredder. It's real simple, y'all. Take it, go down. That's it. Once I finish shredding these, I'm gonna come right back and show y'all the finished product. It's gonna take me a minute to shred all these carrots. So I didn't shred this because I felt like I had enough carrots as I was shredding. So this is the finished result. Look at all that carrot. I probably don't even need all that. Look at all that. What I'm gonna do now is just place these carrots inside a bowl. All right. I'll let y'all see up close. So I have my carrots right here. They finally shredded. So whatever I don't need, I just save it and store it for next time for another um, carrot cake for whenever I make another one. Okay, so to your bowl, you wanna add you in about two and a half cups of flour. Right, so I have my two and a half cups of flour in there. Now I'm about to go in with my sugar and dark brown sugar. I'm gonna be using a cup each. You can use light brown, but I'm using dark brown. All right. Cup of sugar going in. And my cup of brown sugar is going in. You wanna make sure it's nicely, tightly packed in together, honey. All right, so now we're about to go ahead and add in our baking soda and baking powder. Add you in one and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Then you're gonna need one teaspoon of baking powder. Then you need one teaspoon of salt, table salt. Add you in two teaspoons of cinnamon. All right, you're gonna need one half teaspoon of nutmeg. 
Y'all like to be precise with my measurements just to make sure my carrot cake tastes the same every single time. All right, one half teaspoon of nutmeg on in. All right, so now what we're about to do is just whisk this all in together. You wanna make sure all the ingredients is incorporated well, evenly incorporated, okay? So I'm gonna just kind of whisk everything in together. Make sure all that sugar, baking soda, baking powder, all that good stuff mixed in really well, y'all. Saying like I might need a larger bowl. Told y'all I'm gonna need a larger bowl, so I'm gonna just transfer all this into my large bowl. There we go. It smells so good, y'all. So now we're about to just start adding in our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna start with my pure vegetable oil that I have right here. I'm gonna be using this brand. And then I'm gonna melt down my stick of butter, unsalted. A cup of vegetable oil. And this is where we're gonna use our hand mixer to help us out. Now you can use a stand mixer, whatever you prefer, but I'm gonna use my hand mixer today. All right, so we got that cup in there. Let me go melt my butter, and then I'm gonna come back and add my melted butter to this. This is my butter. I'll be using this butter today. So let me go ahead and melt this down, and I'm coming right back. All right, so now I'm about to go ahead and add in my one stick of melted butter, okay? So now we're about to whisk this on low to make sure all the ingredients is well incorporated. Scrape the sides. and mix as you go. All right, let's go ahead and get started. One egg going in, and I'm gonna whisk this up. Okay, I'm using my second egg. Whisk that in. Today I'm using four eggs. Make sure they are large eggs. Here we go. I know the drill, we're about to start with. My last egg. batter should be thick. Add in one tablespoon of the vanilla extract. Boom. There you go. And I'm going to stir this in really well. And then add in about three cups of carrots and a cup of walnuts. And mix that in, y'all. Use that elbow. You're gonna need that elbow for this, honey. For real. All right, got that vanilla in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some carrots, some walnuts. And when you add in the carrots, do not over mix it, just flip it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay. Couple carrots. to add in a couple walnuts. Make sure they are chopped walnuts. See that? Chopped walnuts. That's what you need. All right, my couple walnuts going in. 
what we're gonna do with this? Fold. Fold. Flip and fold. Flip and fold. Flip and fold. Y'all, this smells so good already. Didn't even go in the oven yet. And I have my oven preheated on 350 degrees. And we're going to bake this for about 50 to 55 minutes till it's finished. Look at that, y'all. And your mixture should loosen up once you add your eggs and add everything like that. Mix it up really well. It's gonna loosen up once you add them carrots in. I'ma let y'all see it up close. All right, y'all see how loose that got? That's what you're looking for. Look at that batter. Time to place this in the bucket pan. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. You wanna make sure it's greased and floured so it's easy to remove from the pan. All right, so I have my paper towel here. I already lightly greased it. So what I'm gonna do is just go through the pan, just like this, y'all. Make sure it's nicely greased. You wanna make your job so much easier by doing this. Freeze everything, okay. Then we're gonna go ahead in with our flour, just a little bit of flour, and kind of base it a little bit. Add the flour, and I kind of move that flour up. Sure, we're gonna go ahead and add this to our bundled pan, all of it. Or you can add it to two eight inch small pans. It's up to you. Shake it, make sure it's even. There we go. Go ahead and place this in the oven and I'm gonna show you guys the finished results when it comes out of the oven. All right, y'all, so this is the carrot cake. I let it bake for about an hour and 10 minutes. Okay, it's nicely finished. In order to know it's finished, just stick a butter knife inside and if it comes out dry then it's finished or you can use a toothpick but this is it y'all i'm gonna put that cream cheese icing on it i don't have time tonight to make mine from scratch but if you want to make your own cream cheese icing all you're going to need is some powdered sugar some cream cheese and um some butter so that's all you need all right y'all so i'm gonna be using this cream cheese frosting today so when my bundy cake gets cooled down and everything i'm gonna go ahead and add it to it you do not want to place no icing on the cake while it's still hot all right so let it cool down for about 30 minutes or so and then ice that bad boy but look at that y'all don't it look good Ooh wee. that's gonna be so good honey. all right y'all so let's get to flipping Yeah! Look at that. 
look at that. That's how we do. Look at that, y'all. Just with that icing. Up and down your cake. Look how beautiful that looks. It's going to taste so good. I'm going to use all of it, too. Sure is. Make sure it's up in the grooves. Go around it. Like three times. Up and down. All right, so these are the crushed walnuts that I roasted on the stove with the butter. We're gonna put that right on top for like a pretty garnish. You can add raisins to this, whatever you wanna do, y'all. Coconut, pineapple. Be fancy with it. Beautiful cake. So simple to make, easy ingredients right in your cabinet, honey. Look at that carrot cake, y'all. Look how beautiful that is. Right on in it. Mm. I think I want this piece. Plate it up. Time to plate it up. Look at that. Nice and moist. Take a bite. I'm taking one. Mmm. 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 Y'all. This carrot cake right here is the best carrot cake I ever had. I ain't lying. Try it, honey. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, so. I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. Make sure you try it out. Mmm. 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 Mmm.